Hi guys and welcome to my 8th uh, beginner excel tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to start looking at dates and um, how you use them. So let's get straight into it. Uh, as I mentioned before, when you have a, a, a date in excel, it's not stored how you see it. So again, same with the rounding of numbers, if you put it into general you'll see that it comes up as just a number and this is the date serial um, and the date serial is the number of days since the 1st of January 1900 um, and this makes it a lot simpler for Excel to deal with these because it just deals with them as normal numbers so if we go into this column invoice date and we want to say the invoice date is is precisely um, one day following the date of sale. So we'll go equals and then the value of the cell plus one. Um, and this is giving us the next day. Um, if we go to format cells and put it to general, uh, we'll see that it's actually what's happened is Excel has looked at this cell, taken the value of the cell, which is 41,028 days since 1900, and just added one, one to it. Then when it goes back to convert the format of them back to a date, um, then they match up perfectly. Uh, and you don't have to do just one day, you can add on seven days, so the week after, um, or you can even do uh, minus days, so minus five, um, so five days before this date. So that's really useful. Um, one other neat trick I'll just show you quickly. Uh, if you're working with formulas in columns like this, um, you can drag the formulas down, um, and as you can see, the rows will automatically update themselves because you haven't put the dollar sign in. Um, or alternatively if you don't have any gaps in your data which I would suggest you should never have um, if you're setting out a table like this never make blank rows um, unless you're starting a completely new table it, it, it's going to cause you all kind of nightmares going forwards um, just take my word on that for now um, and you're thanking me for it but uh, if so if you want to copy your formulas down really quickly just go to the corner of the cell, double click and it will fill all of the formulas down for you straight away no matter how long the uh, how far down you go even if you go down to the 60 odd thousand records you can fit in 2003 um, so that's a neat little trick there um, there's also quite a few different uh, dates functions that you can use individually so the first one I'm going to show you is weekday um, so equals weekday open bracket serial number so it's asking for this for a um, serial number of a date so we can just choose this date cell and because the value of the cell is stored not the, the format that you see um, we've got the serial number right there and then return type um, you've got three different options for this uh, you can leave it blank um, at which point you get the numbers 1 through to 7 with one being Sunday uh, and seven being uh, Saturday. Um, when then, if you put two in, then you'll get one as Monday and seven as Sunday. Um, and if you put three in, you'll get Monday as zero uh, and Sunday as six. So I'm going to use uh, the number two, um, and then this will give me one through to seven with uh, one being Monday. So seven. So that's today's date. Uh, and today is a Sunday so that's right that's what we wanted uh, if we change it to 1 then we'll see it comes up with a 1 um, so it depends on what kind of task you're carrying out as which one you'd use um, and what kind of what um, day you use kind of for your week um, and again we'll drop this down so we've got all of our different days of the week then got uh, the month day which is just equals day um, and this one's really simple you give it a date and it tells you what day of the month it is um, and this is really useful for um, kind of daily uh, like stats so if you want to look at only days for the first day of the month um, 
say, uh, because the first day of the month is completely different to all the others, you can just put equals day and then pick out any of the ones there that are the number one. Um, so that's quite a useful one to have. Um, and then you've got equals month, um, which is just equals month, uh, and then select the date, and that's that's it. It just gives you the um, the number for the month um, of of the date that's been given to it. So we've given it this date, which is April. So it's given us four. This one's June. Then it's given us six. April 4, um, February, February. Um, there is a way to get the um, the month names, uh, and I'll show you that in um, the uh, ad advanced uh, Excel tutorials. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than just a simple function. Um, and then finally for this tutorial, um, you've got equals year, open bracket, and on the date and that literally just gives you the year so again pretty useful to have um, so uh, that's it for this tutorial um, thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial